Well, that's the size I'm talking You can imagine sitting here and just watching and go. It's probably like a little roar taking off or something, isn't it? Well, hello there, everybody, and what the hell? This is Aegis' day, by the way, and I'm playing, obviously, Star Citizen 13. Uh, point one, I believe it is. The I got on butcher the injuries week. We'll see the sign in a minute. Okay, we did day one last week. Well, obviously it's two days for me, but last week for you. I heard the guy, but no one was there. I guess he was doing this the whole time. He was not there last time. Then when I came up here, I was like, "Wow, look at that space! How long is for this?" Again, I've logged in, I got here, got in a lot easier than last time I tried. It's a little laggier, I think, than it was last time. So, obviously, bear with us, like, what week it is. But usually, like, last episode, it was super smooth, then went super laggy, smooth, then we had, like, massive lag spikes, couldn't move for, like, 30 seconds or a minute, then we could move, then smooth, then lag. So, we'll just have to deal with it, won't we? And again, this is Aegis's. Obviously, I've skipped going to the thingy to, to get out of the lift to start recording here. What have we got on there? Which commercial is that one? Talk about those lag spikes. Uh, come on, game. So I'm hoping I can get a couple of days in this episode for you, but we'll see how it goes. Because I think H1 are the ones with the most shifts. I think they're just. It's like one of the days with the most ships in it. Hopefully the whole episode won't be like this, laggy. Hopefully we get smoothness like we did last time for parts of it. Okay, so, in, that's how you say it again. Invitus launch week. This is day, well, technically it's like day three, but I mean, when you're talking about the actual... It's every two days is a new ship uh, manufacturer or manufacturers, so for that reason I'm saying this is day two. Basically, we've had two days. The first one, this is day, technically day three. No, actually, really, this is the end day. This is day four, because it's the second day of this one. But I'm classing it as, you know, this is day two or whatever. Okay, we obviously looked at them last time, so it's getting a bit smoother again now for a little bit. We don't need to look around that stuff. If you want to look at all this stuff, go to last episode. I went around all of that. These more focusing on the ships now. One of these episodes I am, if the game will allow me, we do want to have a look at the Javelin Tour. I doubt it's going to be to this episode, but we'll see, we'll see. Depends how much we can get in. So we have the Hammerhead at the front there. Uh, are you the Retaliator? Oh, yeah, Retaliator. And you... Redeemer, right? You the Redeemer? That's the one that, if I'm not mistaken, was made by the players. Oh, I didn't even look at the maps. Let's see how big it is today. It's that there, isn't it? Oh yeah, whoa, yeah. We got Avengers in here. We got the Vanguards over there in that war. So when we go underneath, we got the two already side bits. Okay, yeah, this is the underfloor, isn't it? The lower floor. There's nothing. Oh, a Vulcan and a, the Nautilus. And then we have the two side rooms. I said we had one room yesterday in the middle. Okay. And there's a the hammerhead, the saber command. Okay, okay. Let's get, let get going. Well, that's why I want to look at these as quick as possible. Try and get a couple of days, if possible, into this episode, but we'll see, we'll see. As I was trying to say, that the, the Redeemer was, it was, they had a competition years ago where players like teams of threes made ships, and I believe that was the one that won, and actually one of the people who made that actually works for them now and actually designed ships. But I believe it, it, people could have had that in the hangar, and you could walk around it, but I believe they've taken it because it doesn't fit the specs anymore and it kind of lost its identity. So they're keeping it as, I think it's a dropship, if not mistaken. But they've redone the interior, or redoing it, I'm not sure, 100% sure. Let's look at the retaliate first, I believe this is a missile, okay, scratch that, torpedo ship. It's for taking out, sort of like the hammerhead, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, Age Dynamics, Heavy Bomber. One of the United Empire's Earth's most powerful warbirds. Age Dynamics, Retaliator is a fearsome weapon platform designed to strike and kill capital, capital ships. Exactly, the hammerhead. Oh, but, 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 oh, is that my class as capital? I know Javelin definitely is. I think the hammerhead is capital. Basically, the big, big ships. 
Uh, but, but, but if you can take out a, a javelin, it can take a hammerhead out, obviously. It's smaller, so... A key portion of the UEE's power project, uh, projections... Pro yeah, projections. Retaliator squadrons have served with a distinct... Distinction against outlaws and vandal and elsewhere. Okay. So this is basically like the biggest missiles... Okay, I can say missiles. Torpedoes. You have missiles and we go to torpedoes. But basically, if you say torpedoes, it's a top end of missiles. So hence, the biggest missiles in the game. This baby has... Because it's literally full. It's a capital killer. Uh, how do we get into this baby? I thought they having these little dots, but it's more for your ships, the same where the end is. Okay, that's one way if you can EVA out of, but there's not no way to get in. Am I not getting it? It's a turret. Again, I don't own this ship, so. Okay, apparently we can't get into Retaliator. That's, that's one thing I don't like when it comes to this week. Because it's all like, if it's not a, a thing to interact with, it, it, it's rent. And sometimes the rent can cover up the interaction, especially if you don't know how to get into that particular ship. Okay, I'm looking for it. I should be looking up a bit more to show because I don't know. If I'm, generally, I'm getting the cockpit and then I go a view around it, but I don't think I want to be able to with this. So, I do kind of want to. You at a door. Oh, what is that door? Oh, maybe it's telling us. Oh, there. Oh, it's got rent on there. There we go. Found it, people. Mm, nice little elevator. Obviously, hopefully we get through this quite lag-free, fingers crossed. And hopefully with no crashing. Because I said uh, tomorrow it would change over to the next day. And after two days, I'll probably do it either tonight or the day after. Okay, so this is the retaliate. Remember, this is probably focused on, and there's another lift to get down. I'll go to the back first. Is it one floor, this one? Again, I've not been in this very often. Is that the torpedo? Oh. Is that the torpedo? I think that might be the torpedoes. I think it comes with two. Well, it doesn't sound much, but obviously, that should be enough to take a, a, a massive ship out if you hit it directly. Wait, is this turret? What's this? And a turret, that's a turret, okay. There's a turret, so it probably has one on either side. You see it's got nice lockers. It says six here, so there should be one to three on either side. So I say this is supposed to be a, roughly a six man ship. You know, manning turrets and decks and stuff. What's this? Oh, that's a lower turret, there's a lower turret there. I do think this might have an extra floor that has the cockpit in it. We'll see if we can find it. So like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on these. But at the same time, I do want to show you. So that's the other... Sorry. Kind of like a mini bourbon trying to hold it in. I don't... <laughs> you know how you get. One, two, three. There, for the other lockers. The music today is quite good. Down, down, down. A lot of size I'm talking You can imagine sitting here and just watching it go... It's probably like a little roar taking off or something, isn't it? Oh, and as you can see, the actual another view from that'd be cool. Actually, did they lower? I think they might actually lower, and then maybe looking at that. That's when you sit on it with a cowboy hat. Woo! <laughs> is it? What's this? Oh, the engineer station. So this is the engineer room. What makes sense? I can see the missiles. Like, why is the beat not going off, Scotty? I don't know, Captain. <laughs> it's jammed. We'll get the cowboy hat on them. Okay, Captain. Yeah, that's the, the EVA in and out, or also for docking, as it says dock, to tell you attached to all the ships. Guess how I got in. Holy fudge! Okay, maybe it has more than. Wow, yeah, you could. Maybe it has more than two. That looks like four to me. Nice two there, two back there. Well, again, look, look at that. I can actually get into that one. Oh fudge! Look at the size. I think it's the first time I've been this close to one. I don't know. Look at the size of that. Look, like there's my character. It's just hard with the camera angle in here because they're so close. The classic is like walls, aren't they? But look. You can see why these can take on capital ships. So far, I don't want to jinx it, but the likes be not bad in here, so that's good. So come on, game. Keep it up. Be awesome. Thank you. Ah, there. 
Oh, in here. This is the, oh, this is the cockpit then, I would say. So we're jumping there and then we have something upstairs. That's probably going to be for the crew quarters. Let's look in the cockpit first. Then we can have a quick look at what's on the ship for you. Obviously the big ships take longer to look around. Smaller ones are a lot easier, so... Oh, you know, this one's taking some time, hopefully. I'm still a little worried that they've just been ages. Because they have so many ships that this might be just one episode for them, but we'll see. I would like to get a day or two in it. Okay, F4 work. There we go. Oh. Didn't work first time in it again, it went about. So we have a bit like there. See, she's a nice ship. Obviously, I don't own one of these. I don't really see a point of me having one, because I don't really see me going directly after capitals constantly, so. So I don't see one for my fleet, but plenty of players will, especially big organizations who are in, the, in big old battles. I can see, you know, we need a javelin pilot, a javelin crews would love um, to get, take these against uh, others. Oh, bloody. Again, I'm getting the lag now, people. Holy fudge. Apparently there's underneath it. <laughs> Apologize about that, it's not working, and then it's just jerked. Yeah, I'm trying to read the mouse. So just in case, like, the game crashes, I can't get back in for some reason, there's a little, little the redeemer and there's a, bit, a little size of the hammerhead. Hopefully we can get into them too, but just in case we can't. You can see a bit of them from the sides there. And I think we had a little save, yeah, saber in the background. Oh, two sabers. I think that saber over there, that blue one, if I'm not mistaken, that, um, isn't that like an EMP one or something? I can't be mistaken. I look at a lot of people, that's cool. Okay, it's moving a bit more smoother now. Okay, we can go around a bit more. There we go, that's more like it, people. That's more like it. This is a nice big ship. And she's quite close in size to the Hammerhead. And again, I'm not 100% sure if the Hammerhead's class is a, as a capital. I think it could be. I know Javelin definitely is. I know the Idris definitely is. The Hammerhead might be slightly smaller, so it may not be, but we'll see. But still, you can really see the Hammerhead's a lot fatter and thicker. But still, it's a nice ship. Okay, so look. Have a look upstairs quick and then get out of this one. Because again, I'm trying to tell you information that I'm not trying to remember from my time playing the game and stuff I know, and also trying to compare it when I get to one with a little sign to make sure, oh yeah, I got that right, I remembered it right. So if some of this is a bit wrong, that's the reason why I'm not, I haven't got my phone out like, okay, this is what this ship did, this is what this does, I'm trying to remember off my head. And when I can't, I'm using what's in the game right now. And plus, some of these ships I don't even own, like this one. Okay, so this is where you, is this where you put weapons? Yeah, I think it's where you put the weapons. But yeah, the crew, yeah, here's the beds. And I'm getting lag again. Fudge. Come on, game. You're doing brutally inside here until I looked on the outside. I apologize, but I cannot move. We cannot move. Because <laughs> we are pretty lagging gods again. Come on, dear lagging gods, please be good to us. Let us get through this video and enjoy the ship bounty that you offer us. Or should the lagging dead gods? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it kind of worked. We kind of got some unlag. Well, still lagging, but we can turn slightly, slowly. Yeah. Okay. That okay. I was going to go back there, but it's going to be too. too I have to eventually because we've got a little ship. But so it looks like there's four beds here. So I guess four people sleep at once. Oh no, it's two at the back. Yeah. Or is it one at the back? No, there's two. Two. I'm assuming this ship must have a toilet for these beds. I do not know where it is. Looks like that's for parts you pull out. You can see this is very militaristic, very min minimal. You know, you get in there, you may wait for a day or two, get put a pound on and get out. It's not a explorer ship, but at the same time, people need to rest up, especially when they're taking the journeys, and then they grab the weapons if they're going to board or something. Okay, I think that's enough of the ship. So we head to the middle. I'm loving this house. We should be able to leave. That's good before you jump in the hole. A jerk. Oh, I missed. Jerk. Come on, drum out. There we go. All right then. So that's the retaliator. So let's head over to the saber. And this is one what I said. That I think it's like an EMP-ish one because the sabers are generally stealth, but I think that's more of a special one. Or it might be just one that was upgraded for f fighting. You know, the specific like hero. I guess ships. Well, this ship was customized by Sunso. And they took on the first Van Duel to kill, and that's why they're famous, and it's replica of that, that sort of thing. It might be that. Let me check. So I remember there was a Sabre that came with AMD cards, but it kind of sucked for me for a simple reason. I got a new AMD card. Comes up, oh, pick three games, pick three games. One week later, they announced that Sabre with us. Like, you gotta be kidding me. So I never got it. And the time I upgraded it for my Vega, 
Battlefield was no longer around. I was like, brilliant! I missed out but on a week of a brand new Sabre ship. What you can do exclusively with that AMD card. Or AMD cards at that time. Mate, I, I kind of want to read this for the people. Excuse me, please. Please make this awkward. Sabre Comet. Okay, let me look. Self Fighter. Created as part of the Master, Master Flight Series. Ah, there it is. See, Master Flight Series. That's the one. What I just, so it's not like an EMP or anything. It's the, the hero ship, so to speak. So I was right the second time. Mate, move your shoulder, please. Seriously. Can you see you got the camera recording? Okay, yes. Uh, you know, David Appleton had to deal with this sort of stuff when he's, you know, in the nature and stuff. Uh, created as part of the Master of Flight series in conjunction with the Flight Sim Arena Commander, the comet pay, pays tribute to famed pilot Captain, going to butcher name now, Kamaru Radalina. Uh, you know, this is actually quite hard reading on the side like this. I'm losing my spot. But this work with Aegis to us who push me. Seriously, I'm already saying I'm losing my spot, so I'm just push me. Okay, where was I? Uh, for his work with ages to usher in a new era of combat ship design, this Sabre comes equipped with a specialised dog fighting focus loadout and custom special edition. I can never say that word right. Le Livy, Livy, honouring this iconic ship. Basically, it's the outsider ship, the paint job. I can never say it right. I think it's like Livy, Livy. Do you see? She's a nice little ship. Obviously, it's like my Sabre, but different. <laughs> you know, I do feel the. the but outside reminds me a little very much of like it belongs in Minecraft slightly. <laughs> See a nice little look around. Obviously if you watch my channel a lot, I have a saber, not this one, but basically similar. The layout of this weapons are different than of course the colouring is. So that just have a quick look for you. Okay, so Z, Manolag. Surprising how big the Sabre actually is. Like, when you get in that one little cockpit, it's got all this behind it. It's actually quite a big ship. Obviously, like, compared to the Hammerhead, it's bloody tiny as anything. But I mean, compared to like, the Aurora, the 100 series. Surprisingly quite big. Of course, the wings come out. Okay, nice. So, F4. Down we go. Oh! It's one of the side rooms. Guess we're going out in a minute. Okay, so I've gone out from the back. The front. I go from the back of no, the from the front of it. Okay, so let's go from this side and we'll do the hammerhead in the, in the middle in a minute. So let's look at the redeemer first. It'd be nice if we could actually look in and see the interior of it, because again, they possibly changed it. I don't know if it's ready. It may not even let us in. And we have the other saber, <clears throat> then the hammerhead, what's going to be probably quite a bit of the video. And hopefully we can have a look around. Okay, so here's the Redeemer. Remember, this was originally designed by a player. Players, sorry, three, three, I think it was a team of three guys. Of course, one of them works for, for Zig now. So he might, they might put him back on it to redesign. I don't know, I don't know who they put in charge of it. But obviously, the iconic, like, weird, like, I don't know, like, scissors? Or, sta no, staplers. Wings have kept. The interior is supposed to be a lot changed because it fit the matrix. Because it's very unique. It's, and I'm not saying this is the one that won. Nice little thing at the tail. Hopefully we can get in there. Let's read it first. I believe this is supposed to be a drop ship, so let me see if I remember correctly. So we need some play characters today. I can remember. You got your arm inside them. Guys, go back to your apartment and do that. Seriously. Like, well, at least step over there and do it slightly so I can read this better. Ah. Stop reading again. I'm trying to read this. This is making this so awkward. Okay, manufacture Aegis Dynamics. Gunship. Okay, gunship. Okay, I was wrong. I was thinking dropship. It was a gunship. Uh, at least you got the ship pot right. <laughs> now you can own the next great starship. See, there it is. Designed by starship uh, backers. See, the Aegis Redeemer is a powerful fighting ship capable of holding... It's owed in combat with a powerful weapons payload dotted with turrets and missiles. The Redeem also doubles as an armoured landing craft capable of delivering armoured soldiers for the first person combat. Oh, there! Armoured soldiers first person combat. M m maybe, maybe it was supposed to be a, a dropship and they changed to a gunship since. Maybe that's why I'm thinking of a dropship. And even the, the bottom half of it basically states that, doesn't it? Landing craft capable of delivering armoured soldiers for first person combat. So maybe it's got, instead of being a dropship like I thought it was, they've actually combined it into a gunship, but with dropship 
capacities. In other words, it's now primarily a gunship. But if we have to get on the floor and get, get down and dirty, we still have original role as more of a smaller role now, maybe. Okay, can we get into the baby? I'm assuming it would be from here, obviously, because this is the lift. And now nothing's even popping up. It's not even popping up to buy it. Okay, and they're not even on sale anymore. That's not, did it ever go on sale, this ship? I know everyone got access to it in the hangar. Though. I don't know if it ever did. You're not even getting any buy options. Oh, there's no buy options. That means it's definitely not in game to rent to use. So that means if it's not in game to rent to use, they may not have the interior done. Because the outside looks brilliant. Escape pod. So I guess that's where the people. Oh, I was going to say where do people jump out, but that's just an escape pod. So no, that's where they escape from, though. But yeah, it's just too nice. I would like to see what the interior looks like, but. So there's a turret, and the turret's pretty nice and wide. Got some nice guns. Obviously, this is basically ship to fight other ships with, really. And, and you get basically you're in a war zone, you're in shot, you're fighting to get through the war zone, blasting ships out, land and get your your, your boys on the, the ground, or your girls on the ground, and they start running around and blasting people's heads off. Oh, we need Eva, Eva! They fly in, blasting the snow out of them, then they get on and phew, pulls them out of safety. I think that's the gist of what this ship's supposed to be. Basically, a, a war-focused ship. Like oh, most of the ships here are militaristic, obviously, but I mean, really focused on fighting. Like some of them. Oh, this is focused on EMP. It's focused on keeping you trapped. Why someone else takes you out? This focus on keeping you busy. Why someone else? You, you know, this one's focused on destroying capital ships. This one take the capital ship out of it. I say it's got a bit more, especially with the dropship capacity, a bit more flexibility in it. It's like staplers. It's so cool. Okay, so we have this saber over here. What's well, just the regular saber? So get a stealth ship. Basically, it's what I have. And I, I, I was just quite surprised. You know, I said uh, I said multiple times my fingers. Uh, like I have a Mercury and a saber. So if it doesn't, apparently she does. We were looking through her ships the other day, and she has a Mercury and a saber. So I must have got at the same time. Just didn't realize. I guess because she's never flew them. I didn't realize. I was like, what? I think the only thing I have unique to her is the Gladius. Then she's Avenger unique to me. Oh, maybe she did. There's a little stand over somewhere when we came in. Where are the entrances? Go there, you can eat. Um, uh, of course, so we have a little variation so with some of the other ships and that. I have a whole C. She has the um, the repair ship. I've got a Carrick. So we do have some differences. But I had no clue she had a Mercury and a Saber, but she she does. Okay, so Age of Dynamics, Stealth Fighter. Part of Age of Dynamics. There's two! Of new ship models, the Saber was designed as a space superiority fighter for those situations where you need to leave a lighter footprint. Designed to be a rapid responder, the Saber is more than capable of establishing battlefield dominance for any number of combat scenarios. Nice. We won't look around that one because basically it's the one I have. If you look back past episodes, you can see me in it often. And we've also looked at the Saber, the only difference is the way it looks and the cluster weapon layout a little bit. So now we have the Hammerhead. Okay, were you a gunship or are you the one that's supposed to have, I think, I'm trying to think, is this the one that has the landing pads for all the ships? So it's a bit of a carrier. I'm thinking it's that. Let me check. Heavy gunship, okay. Why is it not like every time today? The ability to respond, move your hand please, to respond quickly and establish battlefield dominance. Move your hand please, move your arm please, thank you. Dominance are paramount to any kind of security operations. Simply put, Aegis Hammerhead, heavy head gunship is built, hand, hand, thank you. Built to react and fight, outfitted with, my god, hand, mate, thank you. Outfitted with both manned and unmanned turrets. The Hammerhead is equal cap equally capable of providing your bloody hand, get out of the way, I want to snap it off in a minute. Move your hand. Providing anti-fighter support for larger capital ships or spearheading the bloody arm. Mo thank you. A smaller military or security outfit. And no thanks to you. Yep. <sighs> anyway. So that's what it does. Again, I'm trying to talk really fast for this because I'm trying to get as much in this as possible. How do you even get into the hammerhead? This one's a big, big ship. Holy fudge. Look at the missiles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm assuming it's at least got the same on the other side. No, it's not seven, it's eight. Fudge. That's at least 60 missiles, minimum. Does that have that further up as well, just the two areas? So it's got eight missiles. Bloody hell. Imagine all them come flying at you. Okay, how do you... 
elevator, elevator over this side. Okay, here's the elevator. So we will call the elevator. So this is basically a gunship. There we go, there we go. Nice. Nice. See, look at like even the landing gear. Look how big it is. That's probably bigger than some ships. There we go. Go. Oh. Hi, friend. What are you doing? Um, friend, I think she's left here. Some people are weird. Okay. So I'm assuming there's elevator on either side too. So I'll have a look around. That's not going to help much. Obviously, Aegis is very more militaristic ships, and while I mean by that, because again, I already said militaristic, but I mean in sense, the decor. They're basically they're here to get the job done and do it well. Where you know, like Cutlasses, you know, Drake, they're more like ah, if, if if this piece hangs together by a bit of duct tape, and it works, we'll go for it. It's cheaper. And then you have other ships like Origin, who's ah, oh, we want to be comfort. You know what I'm saying? So this is like military industrial. I guess industrial makes more sense. Type layouts for them. So I guess the best way is like, as you see, in the middle has like a big open gap. So it actually has some. I guess it makes the ship lighter. For that reason, but it's like empty space there. Can you imagine a ship uh, pulling between like a little Aurora? And you're like, uh, Captain, we have a little Aurora. Kind of in us. What do you mean in us? In between us. <laughs> what if it could fit in there? Also, it's hard to judge the distance from here. That'd be quite interesting. We'll blast him then! We can't! He's in between! Just ram into the side. Obviously, if you could perfectly time as the ship moves, <laughs> that could be quite funny. Okay. So, this one's just gonna have a lot of torts, I believe. As you can see. That door's not open. Oh, there we go. As you can see, it's a nice turret. So, we've got multiple of these. I'm assuming it's mirrored on each side, so. So we start out in the middle, so there's this one truck there, so we want either side. What are these? Oh, this is for storage. Um, oh, uh, suit storage, I believe. Oh, they just didn't end. I'm expecting that. Pull off the side. Oh, it's an airlock! Oh, okay. So this will attach to another ship, and then they'll come aboard, of course, to the. That will cut them off. Then they can put the spacesuits in here. Or if they're invading someone, get the spacesuits, go out, armor, etc. Okay. Okay, so I came from here. So, turret. Should be a turret. So that's an airlock. Is this a lift? Please assure door safety. Okay, it has a lift on the floor, so we'll use that in a minute. So I guess we want to this way and look at the back so there's a lift outside so that should be mirrored where we were on the opposite side so we came from that side okay mind your step oh it should be mind your bloody head not the step okay uh, blast doors and is this like an ah for another turret okay another turret so that should be a turret on that side. So see, oh, bridges that way. So it must be what the lift was for. Cargo engineer room. Batteries. That could be where we have parts in. What's this? Can open? Uh, oh, it must be the engineer room, I'm guessing. I'm assuming these are the panels to pull out. You can repair, pull stuff out eventually. I guess that's what that is. Door, please. Oh, no. Come on, door. No! No! Then Alien still puts his head there. <laughs> okay, got a little bit worried then. Crew. Okay, these doors are slow in this place. There's crew quarters. So, again, the bed is normally in case you have a crew it takes. A so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so it's at least an eight player ship. So, it seems to have little locker rooms. Uh, lockers, not rooms. Is this the toilet? What's this? Oh god, it's leaky. Oh yeah, this is ah. Ew. So yeah, I'm washing my hands, getting a damn shower at the same time. I believe these are probably the showers or the toilets. 
Yep, toilet. Is it a shower too? Oh no, I, I suppose I expected it to be a shower too. It was just a shower. Or do you have a separate shower room? Nope. Okay, they just have toilets in here. Is that the shower? No? So that's a shower for this place. Or is it supposed to be the leaky pipe? <laughs> ah, probably this side. Oh, they got a leaky pipe in here too. This should be the shower, I'm just guessing. Yep! Here's this nice cold and hot showers for you. So, of course, save on this side. Yep, nice. So, as usually come out clean, you don't get dirty water on your head or whatever that is leaking. That seems really safe, but okay. Keep clear, doors in operation. Okay, so. What's this? Actually, these doors will move fast, so I can tell. This is the engineering room. Okay, so we, we kind of gone through it. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is actually engine. No, oh, this is actually engineer. Sorry. Holy fudge. I, I, oh. That's the back, in it? So you can load a vehicle or something. Cool. Bloody hell. Look, look, oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> Bits coming off it. And we have a back tour. Okay, so we just need to get to the front then uh, to have a look at the um, cockpit quick. What's that in the middle of that, anything? Oh, left is my takers up there. We're going to go from the back to the front and then we can leave this one and look at the others. Yeah, I got a feeling age is going to be this full episode at this point, people. But they will get easier to get through. Oh, no, it's bad engineering. Oh, I guess as they like. Bringing a ship in or a vehicle to repair or something. Okay. Oh, sure, go there. Apparently, climb. <laughs> oh no! I used it. Okay, how to get off? I hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay, so. Thank you. So we're actually being a top floor now. Did we go down steps at one point? Oh no, okay. Top floor, we have more for the crew. We have a nice table to eat at. Uh, some TV stuff, the stats, whatever. Some nice shelving for the crew. I guess some very basic food preparation areas. Coffees or whatever. You know, extra cups like a cafeteria. I guess this is where the food will be stored because this kind of looks more like a fridge to me and I'm getting blue lag now. this one? Engineer only. Oh, okay, so these are supposed to be pulled down for an engineer to check if there's something wrong with the ship. So it's like, Scotty, why are you in there? There's something wrong with the ship. Okay, it's fine, Scotty. Scotty, what's wrong? No, no, wrong. Uh, he's stuffing his face. Scotty, you're not eating the food, are you? No. <laughs> Come on, dog. Thank you. That was very nice of you to actually open for me. Alright, where are we going now? I'm hopefully soon going forwards, not backwards. But always spinning, spinning around and round. <laughs> okay, what's this? Okay, that's probably the list that I looked at before. Huh? So how do you get to the cockpit then? Because that means that slip will take me here. Okay, so where does the cockpit? Okay. I've got to turn around somewhere. I guess that's where I just came from the crew area. Okay, I literally came in and went. Oh, yeah, I came back out. I thought I came in from a different way. Okay, I'll go back. Come on, go. Come on, go. Come on, bad door. Open door. Open the door. Thank you. I feel like this, this ship was on fire trying to randomly escape. These doors would be the, literally death of the crew. Okay, let's like go down and just take the other one. Like, so if it is the same one, then how do you get to the cockpit? <laughs> Well, there is signs, so I'll just follow that. Okay, so... Oops, the stairs we go! Oh, no, no, no. That's the turret. Um, This way. Near the front of the ship, then it said the cockpit, so... Oh, come on, lag! The lag is not our friend. I didn't even realise... 
But I think we were looking when the Vegas came out, and my, my people was, I think it's going to be, was it, was it oh, I've gone blank, was it three or four years this August? Because I got it as soon as the Vegas came out, and that's the one I had, and that's when I upgraded my computer, or went for a new computer basically. And it's already showing its age with Star Citizen. But my wife, hers was probably a year or two before, so hers is like five years old, that's why hers is struggling so much. So I'm hoping, because as you knew, we are moving house in December, so we, money's pretty tight right now. Getting a down payment and everything down and stuff and um, so I am actually hoping once we get into the house and we start getting back on our feet and more settled we can maybe start putting a little bit of money to the side here and there and maybe start you know upgrade the computers at some point. Probably going to be at least another year at least because we got to make sure everything's safe and I've got myself mixed up where I am. Okay that's to leave okay so if we go this way that was to the turret. Airlock, that's the airlock. Oh, wasn't this? Bridge, there we go. This is it. I guess once you've had the ship a long time and you use it a lot, and you're not getting lag every time you're trying to walk around, and you can just walk around smoothly, you get to know it like back of your hand. I was like, okay, so this one literally just takes you to the bridge. It does not take you to like another floor to walk around. That's why when I was on, in my eyes, the correct floor, I couldn't reach it. Okay. You can see it's like two people shooting and flying. Or at least in the front anyway. Wow, let's see the lag be some horrible now. We can do this, please. Please no lag. Come on, laggy gods. The laggy dev gods or whatever. Okay. Lad. Okay. So far so good. I believe you're not mistaken, if you buy this or back the game to get this ship, it's $750, if I'm not mistaken. Again, if I am putting in the comments, no, it's not, it's 2000 or whatever it is, but I think it's 750 Of course, you can earn it in-game, so obviously the equivalent of what the, 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 the class, the AUC, AUC, AUEC, AUEC, the in-game credits as. Obviously, the AUC is alpha currency. Once the game goes live, that will be gone, and we will obviously have the real UEC or UAC. Well, whatever the bloody currency is called, the, the, the one that we keep forever. Like this one could get wiped tomorrow, for example, or they could keep it on this for two years and then wipe it. The current um, alpha stuff. That means if you earn this in game right now, it could be like I said, wipe tomorrow or wipe a year from now or two years. You don't know, and you have to earn it again. If you pledge for it, you will always have access to the ship, basically, assuming. Uh, you have lifetime assurance, assuming that if you don't have lifetime, you'll have something like, uh, I don't know, uh, a year assurance, and then when a year it comes up, you don't renew it for some stupid reason, and it gets killed. Once the game goes live, by that point, they said it'd be so easy, and probably give you a reminder, you need to renew your insurance, and boom, boom. So, people should be losing ships because of because it's lack of assurance. They might lose parts, because I believe there's going to be like a, two, a, a tier system for it. Like, a... The basic insurance is what we have now, lifetime insurance, what, just, say, just the whole ship. But then, you can do cargo insurance, so it insures the cargo aboard. You can do the upgrade insurance, or all the, the new weapons you upgraded with. And all that, obviously, higher insurances. That's why they say the lifetime insurance shouldn't be the end-all, do-all of everything. It should be very little to the players. Especially when there's these other insurances for other things. At least that's the um, overall goal, as of now. So look at the size of it. So yeah, 100% add some. I think this wasn't the platform ship. So I can't remember what the platform one is then. I didn't mind it was Hammerhead, but apparently it's not. But there is one that's got like f uh, four or six platforms on it. And it's also got something like a, a, a dock inside the ship. So maybe two ships, depending on the size of them. I guess that will probably pop up one of these days uh, as we go through them. Anyway, let's get out the Hammerhead. And hopefully the rest of this video will go a little quicker for the ships because they're all held smaller. We've literally done the bigger ships now. So we, we're at 39 minutes, so yeah, this might end up just being ages day. But I wouldn't mind if I could fit another day on it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and again, these lifts need to... I guess they'll get used to how slow they are, but again, you're on fire, you're back to the garage. We need to get to the drop point. Drop points, the... Not drop pods, what are they called? The um skate pods. I think a drop pop I think a drop pods, drop pods. But the skate pods uh, and Why are you not here yet? We're about to crash! The door won't open! 
literally one. There we go. So <laughs> literally one open. Okay, that's the quickest way out of this now. Because I can't use this lock, can I? To jump out, right? No. I have to go to the middle. No, that's not the middle. Okay. Um, that's the bridge. So that's the dark. Is this right? Ah, there we go. And down we go. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful! Can we jump on that? Yes, we can! Alrighty then. So I guess we need the side rooms and the underneath room. I guess we could do the underneath room first. And then we'll come up and do side rooms. We don't fall down the stairs at one time. Oh my god, everyone's gathered on the stairs. Let's join the party! Or is it maybe a gang warfare? Then three versus, I don't know how many is even there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's nine people. I wish there was eight. They were top lots against them. I don't know what the nine's called. The nine cups. <laughs> oh, wait, I so said you got four. But no, are you two, two or three? Okay, you're two. I thought you were three people there. Mm. One of them guys is a little bored. Anyway, moving on. Before we get bored. Hopefully we have no stair instances this year. Last year we had a big stair instance. Well, I think I just fell through. Let's see what TV was showing her stuff. Okay, there's the, the sitting room, like last time, but someone's actually using it. Nice. Oh, we have a floaty. Of course, we read that for yesterday. Or oh, should I say, we put it in front of us so you could read them. So if you want to read it, just go to the last episode. And the base was like... Let you read it and then moved along because I don't think we read them last year. So if you want to go to the last episode, okay. So these should be the holograms, and then we have two side rooms to do. I was forgetting how big ages it's days are because I think they got the most ships in the game. At least the most that are fly. Seriously, dude. Well, guess what? There's two of them. So I can go to the other one. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay, we'll look at the ship before we read it. See what what if we work our ship this is. Um, I don't know what ship this is. I do not recognize this ship. What is it? Oh yeah, it's quite nice. I don't know what it is. It's not that medical one, is it? There's like a red one and another one. It's supposed to be like a full on medical one. Excuse me. Okay, Adrian Medics. Oh, my, it's always the mine layer one. The Barry. The mine layer one. I think that they introduced that last year. I forgot about that one. So it places mines, and you fly into them, kaboom, we'll get two called kaboom, and also it clears them too, if I'm not mistaken. Well, to me, I never saw a point in my fleet for that. I could see, maybe put a couple around where you have your base, of so people fly in, to keep them a bit away from you when you, you know, you, oh, I'm down this, this asteroid, this planet, I want to work here. So as you're working, it goes, <laughs> in the distance, somebody must be here. That Would that mine kill them, or are they, are they still coming, you know? Or if you're aiming, like, you need to finish one area, but for me personally, I don't see me using it often. So that's why I never added this to my fleet, or even think about earning one in-game. I need some mines to go high. Stop pushing me! The hell? The hell? Why off? I could uh, hire maybe someone with one of these to put them down temporarily and leave. And that's the other thing, too. Uh, if you're not mistaken, Zig hasn't decided how long the mines will last. So, for example, they may go with, oh, the mine's persistent for a whole real-life week. And it only goes off after a week or when someone hits it, or it could be resistant for a real life hour. And obviously, a week versus an hour can be a big difference of how useful that ship is. <clears throat> God, in it. Or it's resistant until it goes off. Or until they get hit so many in the universe. Like, oh, we can only have up to, I don't know, 5,000 mines and we hit that limit, someone starts to disappear, but then you have some people who wouldn't be able to put them down. <laughs> Would you if you had 5,000 people doing that at the same time? I'm just using that part as my own idea from when he, when Chris Roberts talked about oh no, you, you put this spoon down or this I think it's a coffee cup put this coffee cup down and then you come back no one else touches it it will always be there but at some point the game will start to you know you pretend non play characters remove them and start removing them once there's been like we can't have a million of them sitting in the same spot they'll start being getting rid of because of memory issues so there will be a a limit and the idea is oh non play character came down and got rid of it or whatever okay let me read this. With four centuries of distinguished services under his belt, the age dynamics, not, 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 not,
the name of the ship, tactical man my layer, represent the ultimate in strategic combat, engineering with full, fully integrated mine deployment, sweeping and disarming capabilities. So, if you want a mine layer or a mine sweeper, this is it. At least it right now. Oh, now the guy's gone because he has. You just had to be a here. Okay, pretty nice. Can I get to the other one? And obviously if they're out here and these holograms it means it's the basic concept of the outside but they've done, really done nothing with them yet. Hence why these are ships I don't know as well. As some of the other ships. I get it, someone I don't recognise. Probably the video. Oh that's the one! Let's see. Okay, dynamics, focus meet repair meet and refuel. Oh the Vulcan! The Vulcan, yeah. Repair I thought the Vulcan was a salvage ship. Okay, I feel that's wrong. I think the Vulcan was a salvage ship. Medium repair, medium refuel. I thought the Vulcan was a salvage. Refuel, repair, rearm, become a one person support crew with age dynamics versus our Vulcan. No, the Barry, the Barry, the Barry. The Vulture. The Vulture's the, 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 the salvage ship, isn't it? The Vulture. Not Vulcan. Vulture. Similar names. Vulture. Supplying aids to pilots on the fly whenever pinned down under heavy fire and in need of. God, I can never say that word properly. Animation. Animation. Basically, ammo. Low on quantum fuel after an ill planned jump or stranded in unknown space it was with a busted thruster. A pilot in distress can always count on a Vulcan and candidate of drones to lend speedy, efficient assistance. Because like, if he owns a repair ship, but it's not in the game yet, I don't think it's that one. I'm sure it's not called Vulcan. Medium repair, medium fuel, and I don't think hers refuels. It, has, it looks like it, hers has like, um, you know, like pincer claws at the front in the weird way. What well, I think is supposed to be for a platform for stuff to land on. Like arms, oh, not really pincers, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so this is the Vulcan. It's a very chubby ship, isn't it? And again, I feel this hologram doesn't give justice to how the size what they actually are. Like this could be a lot smaller or, or a lot bigger than I'm picturing in my head. It's probably the same for you guys too. Okay. So that should be all the ships down here, and we just have the two side rooms to look at. And then, yeah, we're at 47 minutes, so yeah, I think Ages is day two is going to be for this week. Hopefully next week we can... Oh, the Scorpion. We looked at that one yesterday. Scorpion, right? No, Nautilus. Oh, no, it's the mine layer. There! Why did I make the Scorpion from that angle? I guess it looked like it had multiple wings for some reason. Okay. So how do we get out of here? Must we do a side? I thought that was Scorpion then. Just the angle of it with the wings. But yeah, so probably next week will be hopefully day three, four, or unless I actually call it the, the thingy days. Like, call it, I don't know what I'm going to call this title. Oh, probably like last week we had day one. This might be maybe, maybe I should class it as day two, or or would that be more confusing? Maybe just oh no, it's day three and four. I don't know. I'm going to have to look when I come to put this together. But then again, if I have multiple days at once, I can't be this day 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> Can I, so. Because I was thinking originally, going, oh, day 1, uh, RSI. But then I realised there's like four manufacturers on that day. It's like, I can't fit in the YouTube title. But obviously, it's just ages I can. Okay, we need the side rooms. That's the start. What's the side room? I feel today, so far, again, the one jinx shit has been a lot laggier free than the first day I did this. Yes, we've had a couple of so like spikes, but in comparison to day one, again, the one jinx has been a lot smoother. You know, touch wood, all that stuff. Okay, there we go. Is that the one I was thinking, like the medic one? Oh, sugar. Oh, no, no, it's the F-18, isn't it? We've looked at that one. The F-18. Isn't it? Yeah, F-18 Lightning. So again, we looked and read that last episode, so if you want to go back and look at that one. So I'm trying to just do the newish ones. So I guess they're in between rooms, they are. So I guess the Scorpion's on the other side in between the room then? Of course, that's where we saw the the officers. Again, we had a proper look at them last episode. There we go. Aegis. Squadron 78. Age Dynamics. Salute Squadron 78. Squadron 78, also known as the Thundering... Why? 
Forza <laughs> is best known to the public today for their colourful mascot and their part in Operation Un... Laranitis? I don't know. Force. A 2940 effort aimed at inciting Vandul in fighting by targeting a single clan's line of battle. Through surgical strikes performed by 78's fleet of powerful retaliator bombers, they would weaken the target clan with the hopes that this vulnerability would then make them a target for other Vandul clans. Force, uh, diverting attention and resources from UE space while inflicting further ongoing losses on the various clans involved. At the culmination of the operation, the 78th took part in a major strike that resulted in the crippling of the Emini kingship and significant Vandu losses. Is that the kingship? Do you know where in the law, if you did the original Kickstarter or at least look at it, uh, people who backed for a Vandal, um, I forgot which ship it was, but there's a Vandal ship, the first one they ever made, it's supposed to have actual real vandal ships that were taken from that kingship if, if it's the same kingship taken from that ship the kingships there like they're javelin basically taken from that ship and they actually have real replicas with this with just a few things changed so humans can interact where people who get the current versions of them uh, sorry not real replicas real they're real ships with just stuff for humans to interact with where the current versions are replicas of them ships if that makes sense so basically, people who back Kickstarter for a Vandal ship has an actual Vandal ship that's converted for a human, where people who get a Vandal ship now has a replica of humans re trying to recreate it. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, come on, you. There we go. Vanguard, this is the Haybringer. As you see, there's a lot of Vanguard variants. Where's the little thing for this version? Uh, oh, there it is. Of course, it's around our people. Ah! This is a bomber. The Vanguard Haybringer is Earth's standard fighter dash bomber. Please stop leaning over. Converting the. I can't see your hand. Standard Warden's escape pod into a potent Bombay. The extended range of. The spot of the Vanguard, Vanguard, and the relatively small profile mean that it can go where carrier base ships or larger strategic bombers don't strike hard and then make it back to base. So it's like a long distance fighter, basically. Cool, let's on the picture things. That's cool. Okay, ah, there we go. Oh no, not rent fudge. Back out, back out, back it out. Cancel. Um. That should open now, hopefully. There we go. Oh! I was expecting a lift, not a ramp. <laughs> I thought we were surprised. Kind of looks a bit better in the middle. Okay. I've not been in this before. Oh. I guess it's kind of a lift. There we go. There we go, okay. So, it looks like we have some lockers, some storage. Is that a um, shower or a toilet? Shower with a medical thing. Nice mirror. So, toilet, I'm assuming. Oh no, guns, guns. Do you have a toilet? Oh, there's a toilet, sorry. There's a toilet. There's that little thing down there. Can I get it out? There oh, sugar! Ow, that's a toilet. Yep, there goes my little winky. Ow. That's really fast. Okay, so two beds. That was like a torpedo to me, not a missile. Looks like it's a torpedo, or the biggest missile if it's not torpedo class yet. You know, the one on the torpedoes. See, it's not a, a huge, huge ship. Ah, oh, see, this is where you can access some of the stuff to fix if you need it. So there we go. Well, there's the Haybringer, wasn't it? Or the Heartbringer or something. So this is obviously for going to big distances, fighting and getting back. Oh, true. We've seen inside that one. Oh, that's all the Aturius. Oh, cool. Well, then you got the wires. Look, drain. What's that? Drain cock? Why do they call it drain cock? Look at that inside the other ship. 
That's cool. Ooh, we do we see some missiles then? Okay, I can't catch it where the missiles were now. That's how cool it? like the interiors of them. Nice big wings. Okay. Oh, do we see? Ah, there's a dead glitch in the interior. I do have a ship. Let's go. We'll go and have a look at that one. I don't think there's gonna be much difference. According to what it said, that they swapped out one room. It's a difference. But so hopefully it should be quick to look at. We don't really need to look outside of it. I wonder which room it swapped out. Actually, there's, there's not actually much space in this, considering. That's a turret, okay. So I don't see stairs for anything, do you? Oh, sugar. That's where the quantum drive is. Yep, the quantum drive, you need to replace it or fix it. Okay, how do I make this ramp go down? Oh, fudge. Um, Rampy? Seriously? How do I make the ramp go down? Sideborn? Okay, how do I make the ramp go down? Okay, that's closed. There. It doesn't have to be closed, does it? I might just be glitching for that, I don't know. Anyway, so there's that one. So we'll look at this one quick. Uh, we'll read it quicker, that guy moves. Dush! Oh, what was that skull thing? Back up. Popple its arms. That's a good gun. Two minutes, mate. Try to record here. Okay, manufacturing edge to manage focus dropship. Oh, so this is a dropship focus. So, you know, get in, get, get, get your guys' boots on the ground, the girls' boots on the ground, and get out there. The Vandal Hoplite, Hoplite is a cross between the winning Vanguard deep space fighter and a dedicated boarding ship. Adapting the reliable design for amphibious operations, the Hoplite is the perfect tool for inserting an armed strike team with enough firepower to get them out again. So get in, get out, and maybe even board somebody. So this one should have an extra room then. I'm, I'm, I'm ass no, I don't have it again. I'm assuming. Of course, if you're here this week, you can play for free, and as long as your game's running fine, you can rent all these and test them for free. Oh my god! I don't really go into testing these too much because of how much I struggled during this week. Come on, open the bloody thing. Ah. There. So, I'd like this to stay open if it will. Oh, it did. Nice. Okay, so for stars, it's got seats. This one didn't. So, four seats here. So, this is, must be the room that changed. Oh, oh, sorry. More than four seats. Four, six, and weapons. So, this is dropping six people in. Okay. What was this in the other one? It was the little beds, wasn't it? For, so, this one's to sit, get to the location, get out and fight, get back in, or, you know, pick people up. The other ones for going for long distance where I have beds. And then base is the same. So we won't bother looking in the outside of this one. It's basically the same. Need to help for someone else to go in so it should be easier for them. Okay. Nice one's done for this one. That's the outside thing over there. General entry, commonly price at work. Commodity price. Is this a thingy too? A warden vanguard. Lights on it. Uh, a hard chain charging bulldog of a fighter which features sensor forward mounting weaponry designed to tear through the shields and armor of other spacecraft. So named because their multiple jump range allows them to form a, to form the vanguard of any military expedition. Vanguards have seen a sensor surface against the Vandul. Okay. So this is basically just a fighter version then. Over them two. If it wants for long range fighters just a regular fighter then? Is that what we're getting here? Uh, we got like a nice food thing. Beds. Oh, the control panel for something. What the? 
What'd I do? Oh, sugar! I hit the turret. Guess we're going to look at this one then. Yeah, I guess it could be one turret for one. I wasn't planning to get in the turret, but okay. That lets me do that, so. Uh. Then we nice blue one over there. There we go. <laughs> hour, yeah, this definitely ages today only, people. We're in an hour. Okay. Mutations. Oh, this one's a rack again. So, of course, the toilet, yes. It's down there. And then the cockpit. And, of course, we see the turret. So, yeah, it's basically this little section that gets changed slightly out. Okay, so last but then the blue one. I believe that's the, the hero version. If it isn't, then I don't know what the difference is. Uh, where's the... Oh, there it is. It's like, where's the thing for it? Excuse me, bud. Okay, the Vanco Sentinel is a ship that's designed to fight small instead of taking enemies head on. The convention. Oh, it's an EMP one. Shoulder, bud. Shoulder. Features an AR cockpit, an external E war pod de decor, missiles, and a set of EMP charges. Vanguard Sentinels often provide necessary combat support for combined operations. A lone Sentinel is frequently paired with a Hamburg bombers and Warden escorts for a large attack. Okay, I'm going to read that before he gets shoulder over it. Just barely. Okay, so this is a hero one. I just thought it would be nice colours it would be. So this is an EMP version. I'm curious what the, the, this looks like inside. Ow! Fuck, I just to get that open again. Get lag. Come on! Come on! Did it reopen that or something? Oh, okay. That's fine by me. I can get these doors open. Thank you. Okay, oh, okay, so straight away. Boom, big difference. Basically, you've got the nice thing here with extra radar stuff for the EMP charges, I guess. That kind of looks like a lot of server space. Got a little kitchen. I'm assuming the. Oh, no, no, oh. Is that a different side? That's the weapon rack. I was felt like it was a toilet. There's a toilet, a shower. We have a storage here. Uh, two beds. So it looks like two beds this time around. Come on, you. Up, open up. And of course, the same as before. And uh, does this one have a. Hmm. Maybe no turret. It says to access, but if it's an EMP, that could be gone for it. But they're keeping the same shape, so the EMP might be up there. So either it's bugging them to get into it, or that's what the EMP is, what makes more sense, so. Nice ship. Okay, so we have one more room to go to, and we're done for the day! <laughs> and done for ages. So obviously, next episode, hopefully, I can actually combine a couple of these, <laughs> you know, week. Some of these days into one episode, but this one, uh, it's our. Because there's not much. Uh, because I'm talking between, it's not like I'm traveling that far. So, who we got left? The Avengers. That's basically it. So, I guess I just have to go to the other side. At this point, I could just cut this little bit out, but yeah. I'm just busy, isn't it? I'm going to keep this in. Okay. So, that's the star. So, I would say be directly that way, wouldn't you, behind the ship? Another look at the hammerhead as we go under her. There. That's the door we need in over there. So these are again the Avengers, a ship I don't own, but Super Notifions and my friend he goes on, what's it? Parality owns. The only ship he owns actually. A lot of people call the penguin. Oh, so it looks like both sides has uh, F-18. Hmm, okay. I personally would have thought they would have done the um, same F-18. They would have done Scorpion, but okay. Yeah, I think it's the same line, isn't it? My god, it's busy in here. Oh, they've done Blake Aratus. 
Makes the convention look more busy than last year, like the first year they did this. But I think there's only players in it. Or does it two sides? But I think it just goes around to the same side, doesn't it? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Salutes. Oh, it's the same 78, is it? Squadron 78. Oh, wasn't it even this Squadron 99 or something? Also known as the Thunderbird. For, no, that's the same, isn't it? It's best known to public today for their colourful mascot and their part in Operation Force or 29. The Operation 78 took part in a major strike. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five to look at. And we're done. So, again, remember which the is which. The colours will change on these two, it doesn't help. So, you are a Avenger Titan. Okay, I believe, without reading into it before we get there, the Titan is the version with the most cargo. So it's like the starting version of them. Let me see. Yeah, Light Freighter. Yeah, that's right. Okay, it's part of the Masters of Flight series, in conjunction with the Flight Sim. Also, airship too. Arena Commander, the re Renegade, pays tribute to famed pilot Dan Solman for his notable work with the uh, Light Avocardi to bring justice to Brandon. This Avenger tank comes equipped with specialised dogfighting focus. Oh, okay. Loadout and a customised special edition of delivery, honouring its iconic ship. Okay, so this is actually a fighting one. Why does it say Light Freighter then? Okay, so this is the special hero one, so there must be a Light Freighter, maybe that one. It's about to around, but hopefully we can get up there. Okay, so most of these are going to have the back end that's changed. Like, there's an EMP version one of these as well. This shit's changed a lot since the day. I'd go into some early episodes of mine when it went on Super Tiffy's. You had to crawl for this bit. It was a bad thingy. Okay, but one of these is a, a very um, bounty hunter focused one as well. Oh, that's nice. I like the colours. Maybe change that. Maybe I don't know the blue to a red or the yellow or the yellow to the red. Keep one of the other two colours. Pretty cool. Look at that. People call this the penguin. <laughs> nice. Oh sugar. I went to open and I hesitated and opened his own and by that point I clicked. So then I shut it instantly. Okay, so that's the special like hero one. I believe this is just a regular version, the stalker. Could be wrong, find out. Focus indiction, okay. Oh stalker, yep, that's right, stalker. Uh, initially designed as Aegis Frontline carrier ship for the military, the Avenger Stalker took a different path, only having a long installed career as a standard patrol craft of the UEE Avidicardi, or how you say it. Utilising its cargo hold for prisoners transport, the Avenger features a sturdy, reliable hull and a capacity, capacity, capacity for larger than expected engine mounts. So basically, this is the ship Supernotivy owns and also Peralis he owns. This is the exact version of it. And he likes being the bounty hunter, so when he starts playing properly, he's going to enjoy having these pods to put people in. I uh, really have six pods. And of course, the rest of it should basically be the same. So I think, yeah, other than like the outside, this does have a toilet, doesn't it? Serial number. Do you think it should do? Is that a bed? Or have they got rid of the toilet in this? That's a better log out in at least. I guess you have to stop and pee pee. Yeah, it doesn't tell them where it is. Again, I don't own this ship. Super so Tiffy does. And of course, my friend does. Okay. So, that's that basic version. That middle is not an Avenger. What is that? What are you? I don't remember you. I kind of roughly do, but I don't, if that makes sense. You are the... Oh, the Eclipse! Duh! It's another super, super stealthy ship. Stealth bomber. Yeah, partly right. Super stealthy. Getting undetected. Drop your bombs. Live up, everyone knows you're there. If not dead. And then you get out. <laughs> it's like a big wake-up call, like... Peek-a-boo! Huh? Boom! The Age Eclipse is a bomber designed to get 
uh, get in and strike before it's uh, even ever even spotted. I just sent a service with the UEE. This high-tech military equipped uh, equipment made its c c civilization civilization civil market debut in 2947. I believe when this came out it was black. I'm gonna change the colour. Is this the one where it's just a cockpit one or do we have a back end for this? I got feels just for cockpits. Yeah, I think it's just a single seater. That means it'll be on the, one of the sides. Take the other side, baby. There it is. I believe the Avenger too, you can get in from the back I have been in, I believe you can also get in from the side with a ladder. I might do that with one of the ones over there. Especially the EMP one. Because I will just have you'll be able to see the back with a but you won't actually be able to get into it properly. Okay, F4. Pretty nice, isn't it? I'm assuming them, because I've never flown this thing, or if I did it was in like PTU very quickly. I'm assuming them little wings, the obviously when you're flying will foot forward down. It'll be more stealthy. Very nice. Okay. And up we go. There's two more ships and we're done for the day. Oh, the Gladius. Got my Gladius over there. And I've told you about that multiple times. That class is my wedding ship. I won't win that today, so I've said it multiple times in the past. Um, there. So if this is the Avenger, and you can end it from, from here too. There's two ways into it. There we go. I'm assuming it's going to be the MP version. So this one technically you have to get in this way anyway, but all of them I believe you can. Yeah, see? This one has the EMP in the back so you can't actually travel through it. Where the others you can, but the others do have the same. Get in through the side as I just did, but you can also get in through the back. So this one's the only one with one way in. <laughs> Is there a way to... Um You don't actually get into the... Yeah, there's a door there. There must be a way to get behind from here. I don't know how you would do it. Maybe it's a holding wide, hit it once. Or is he just going to climb out? No. No. I don't see it. There's probably a thing to turn a chair around. I don't see how to do it to get to the back bit. Does it look like there was a, a door there? Unless it's just because it's the same ship, they just cut it off. See? Ah, there. Okay, there we're done. That works. So we can still access the bed area. But then this door's probably locked you because it's got the MP in it. I think. Okay. So I'll get into the ship. I assume you have to be in the seat to get out. Exit ship there. I'll do. I thought he's gonna jump from the front then. <laughs> he does that just topples forward. Ah! <laughs> okay, Bob. <laughs> no. That was my gladius. Oh, I didn't read the EMP thing for you did I? Okay. The Avenger Warlock was built towards a single design philosophy. Stop ships and just, um can I zoom in more because you're in my way? Don't destroy them, probably the closest to the non-lethal fighter. The Warlock is outfitted with a Behang Rep 8 EMP generator capable of emitting a powerful electromagnetic wave to disable any electronics unfortunate enough to be within basic in blast radius, sorry, not basic, blast radius. And last but not least, my gladius. I assume it's just it the hero version. Wide fighter. Creators part of them, yeah, this is a massive flight version, so this is slightly different to mine. The colouring should be a bit different and the weapon layout should be different. And I would like you to music and read this, please. Come on, bud. I mean, it's hard. Creators part of the Master of Flights uh, series in conjunction with the Flight Sim Arena Commander, the Valiant pays, that's the name of the Valiant, pays tribute to famed defence pilot, Cor, don't butcher, 
Pondia Hilliard for being the first human on record to defeat a Vanduul in combat. And what I say earlier, the heroes, it's like heroes will beat the first Vanduul or something and they'll kill, I think I said. But so, this is the one. The Gladius, uh, where's my line? Comes equipped with a specialised dogfight focus loadout and a custom. I can't move, it's lagging on me. Something. Edition, ah, uh, special edition lavery honoring her iconic ship. So this was thrown by a female. Okay, sorry about that. To cut away, uh, sound like a door suddenly flew open. I don't, I'm not sure if it was or if it was my dog getting up. She's leaning against the door, and you might have just heard it. There now, so we're moving the ears. We're almost finished now, anyway. Okay, so I think I just read up to tell you about the Gladius. You can see this is just one cockpit. So again here, we can look on the outside again. You've seen roughly the ship a lot on my channel, but not this particular version. But also the main design's the same, but obviously she has a custom layout for her weapons. This is a female who killed the very first Vanduul. That's pretty cool. What's that? I'm getting like interiors. Oh, it's this one. I was like, I don't remember the interior being in the Gladius, it's the other ship. <laughs> Like I stated earlier in the episode, this is, I class is my wedding ship. Basically, this ship, very quick rundown, I wasn't going to go into it, but... Uh, the, the day I was getting married, this ship was the first British ship to go on sale from Britain. So the first ship made by Manchester, the British people, and I'm British. Uh, it went on a uh, concept sale on the day of my wedding. Uh, which I'll see, uh, four, sorry, 12th of July. Because it's 14th, that's my birthday. 14th of July is my birthday. 12th of July. Uh, 2014. There's a player running around. I don't know how to look. And basically went on sale that day. So I grabbed it. Oh, oh yeah, this ship also has a lot of the stuff like that. You see what you just did? That's for putting guns on. Basically, this is like the test bed ship for Manchester. So everything that's up to date, this ship has. So that it has like a little box area too, I believe. Well, hey, he's opened up there for me. Thank you, buddy. He's like an assistant. Anyway, I'll finish my story quick and get out then he can have a little look. As you see the missiles. Um, oh, and there's a part you can fix to change stuff as well. Uh, as I was saying, so I've got that on that day, and I remember when it finally came out, it was the first time, they said, oh, it's coming out a week early. They still had to say, whatever week it was coming out, it came out a week early. And everyone goes, oh, they always delay, they always miss the dates, they didn't. So if I'm not mistaken, that's actually items at the back somewhere, I think there's a, there's a pod. No, that's it, that's it, sorry. That one there. The square, that's where you put a box in, so you can actually carry a box with this ship now, and of course you get your gun there. Anyway, let me get out so this player can get in, and we'll end this episode. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, please subscribe, please see you next time, hopefully. As long as I can get on and don't miss a day, next episode will be the following day, and maybe I can get another day squeezed into it. But we'll see, so we'll have a very quick look around, see. Get that space for two weapons. And this, of course, is where you can put a box. Personal inventory. So, like, you, you got a carry mission, you can put it on here. Actually, the way that's back, could, could you put a armor in that? You know, that access point there, that's personal inventory. Like, slide that, could armor go on that, and if you put a box? Hmm, interesting. But basically, everything that Manchester does to test a ship, you know, new UI, new, you know, little. Access stuff for ships. This is their favorite. This is what they test it on. I believe in America, in America, they tend to focus on the Hornet, but Manchester focuses on this baby. Well, I'm glad because it keeps this baby up to date. So, and it's one of my favorites because again, it's special meaning for me. So, anyway, with that being said, I believe that's all the ships done now. So, with that being said, please like, please subscribe, please tune in next time, and next week we'll continue with. Well, whatever you're classing this as, day three of new ships being shown. Even though really it's like day one, two for the first manufacturer, day two, three, and it'll be four and five, won't it? But you know what I'm saying. I, I've got, again, I haven't decided how I'm going to name this yet. But anyway, you've been awesome. Like, subscribe. Have a great day. See you next time. And watch more on the channel. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody.